we got a few packages today and one of the packages is coming from Kenneth, Ohio. And Kenneth looks like he sent us a MacBook motherboard. Uh, MacBook A1466 EMC2925. This is probably the 2015 MacBook Air. Passcode no, liquid damage no, lock on screen. So it's probably an AFI chip programming. We have a lot of videos on the EFI chip programming. I do not know if I want to do this. Uh, we haven't done a MacBook Air EFI chip programming. Uh, same process. Since we're already on camera, let's go ahead and do it. This is the EFI chip right here. Okay, we see some dirt next to that chip. It's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and remove the chip and we have to keep in mind that pin number one is on the top left based on the orientation that I have the board on the bench right now. So pin number one is here. If you put the chip the wrong way, the MacBook is not going to turn on. Anytime we are dealing with EFI chips, we have to be careful of the surrounding. We have components very close to that chip. When we heat up the chip to remove it off the board, the whole area here is going to reach melting temperature and those components can easily move if you knock them by mistake. So we have to be extra careful when dealing with this type of repair. One moment. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Okay, what's uh, going on? I'm here to pick up my iPod. Oh yeah, yeah, with the screen. <laughs> nice. That's what I wanted. <laughs> we just did an iPod Classic for that customer. He came in and he said that there's no backlight on the iPod Classic. We haven't fixed any backlight issues for those iPods, but it turned out to be a screen issue. So we are preheating from far. I do not want to apply sudden heat onto that chip. And then I start to go down until that chip will reach melting temperature. Now what we're going to do is solder the chip onto an adapter, something that looks like this one here, and this one we're going to put it on the programmer so we can program that chip. We're going to detect the type of chip. This one here. Let's read from that chip. Reading in progress. And we see this amber light here flashing, which means the chip is being read right now. And reading is complete. So we're going to do cancel. Let's go ahead and save that file. 2015 MacBook Air A1466 EMC 2925. And we're going to label this as bad. Save. Now we're going to open our hex editor to read that file. And to locate the lock on the firmware, let's search for dollar sign SVS. And the lock is located right over here. So we're gonna replace this whole block with an empty block. 
all the way down to here. We're going to do fill selection. And the lock has been removed from the firmware. And we're going to save the file, flash it onto the chip, solder the chip back on, and send it back to the customer. So we're going to call it good. Now we're going to go back to the firmware software. We're going to load that good file right here. And if we look at the size of both files, 8192, 8192, exactly the same. Let's go ahead and open up good. Okay. Now we're going to program that file onto the chip. Program. Programming in progress. And we see the amber light here, it's flashing. Customer shipped the board only, he did not ship the entire laptop. That's a good thing actually because uh, it doesn't cost a lot to ship this board and there's no risk that the package may get damaged and the screen breaking. Screen on this laptop is about four or five hundred dollars. So by sending just the board, you do not take that risk of any shipping damage. Now that the chip programming is complete, let's go ahead and desolder the chip from the adapter and solder it back onto the board. And before I do that, let me just prep the board so the pads are ready to accept the chip. Okay, and I just got another weller tip, a new weller tip, because the one I'm using, the one with the bent tip, is wearing out. And I just got exactly the same one. Nice and shiny. And this is the old one here. It's exactly the same tape, but this tape has been used so much. It's wearing out and solder is not holding onto the tip anymore. We do use the tip thinner, but there is a limit on how much you can use that. When the tip is gone, it has to be changed. So let's replace the tip and solder this chip. Right there. Let's take a look at the tip under the microscope. We're going to have to apply some solder onto the tip. It's the first time being used. And we just need one tiny blob of solder in the center, like this. Now let's remove the chip from the adapter. Now that the chip held in place, we're going to apply just a little bit more flux. We're going to press it down and heat up again. Just tap a few times and press and hold. And the chip is soldered. Just clean up the edges and we should be all good.
and that's it job is done go ahead and like this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video